Hey guys, I'm Ozia and welcome to another episode. Today we're going to be converting uh, uh, rotary power, rotary craft power into RF. We've already done this and we've done it with the uh, rotational dynamo, but due to the patch change, these are limited to uh, a maximum of 47 RF a tick, uh, which is somewhat of an issue when you've got giant power systems like this one and the solar tower behind it. Uh, so, um, instead of having to either uh, use rotary power uh, shafts and gearboxes for everything. Um, I've decided to try and work around this by uh, converting everything into steam and then steam into RF. So, so let's just see how I've done this. Okay, first of all, what are you going to need? Um, by the way, this episode is going to be a little bit different due to the fact that I usually show you how to make this stuff, but I sort of stuffed up the recording and. These machines are already here, and I don't want to get rid of them. <laughs> anyway, the first thing you need is a friction boiler. Okay, so let's just look at the friction boiler anyway. Uh, friction boiler, here it is. So basically you just need uh, four HSL steel ingots on the corners, two glass on the sides, an impeller at the bottom, and a liquid pipe on the top. Okay, and what you need to do is you need to supply shaft power to the bottom of this. As you can see I've got uh, two sets of turbines uh, linked with shafts, bevels going all the way up to a, our, to a shaft junction to combine the two powers. And then that goes into the bottom of this uh, friction boiler. Okay, so the friction boiler also requires water because it's turning the water into steam. So water can enter in on any of the sides uh, except for the top. Uh, that's where the steam comes out and as you can see I've got fluid ducts here. You're going to need to use uh, something like fluid ducts uh, full of steam as uh, these liquid pipes, even though they can carry steam, they don't quite interact perfectly with these uh, steam turbines from MFR. Okay, as for the water supply you don't need so much power, as you can see here I've only got uh, 65 kilowatts of power which isn't too much in the grand scheme of how much power I'm getting out of the uh, water hydro connected turbines but you do need quite a bit of speed um, okay let's just see so it's an operation time of 0.05 seconds as you can see it's sucking up a lot of water so uh, in the case of pumps you need lots of speed not so much power or not so much torque, but lots of pow uh, power through speed, and that should be enough to keep this thing going. Um, in previous tests, I've noticed that if you have a lot of torque and not so much speed, the pumps really don't work very well, and this thing won't work very well with when it starts running out of water. Okay, as for the steam, so it comes at the top here. Um, you can use something like a uh, multimeter. Uh, to just right click and check it says uh, 44,000 or 45,000 so, so this pipe's essentially being um, filled which essentially means uh, I can put more of these uh, steam turbines down um, we right click in here maximum steam it is generating power but it's already been sucked out by the engine as you can see we're getting quite a lot so as you can see this does convert a lot of Radio craft power. Um, there is a loss, have there's a, a loss of power that's used for pumping the water. Plus, also there's a uh, some kind of ratio. I'm not quite is what what it is, but there is power loss when you're creating the steam. So I've calculated somewhere roughly about 20% of power is actually lost, which isn't that much due to the fact that these things generate so much. And I think I can handle uh, a loss of 20%. Okay, so what else can I say here? Um, so, if you have a multimeter, if you right-click on these pipes and you see that they're pretty much full, you can probably pretty much uh, just add another turbine, and you should be able to get a little bit more power out of it. Um, I think that's about it for today. Um, so, guys, if you like the episode, uh, oh, and also another thing, don't worry about fluid pipes um, touching a liquid pipe, especially if there's liquid inside the pipe. They're not actually transferring liquid or steam. Okay, so anyway, that's enough for today. Uh, if you like the episode, please press the like. It helps me get noticed on YouTube and so forth. 
um, please subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, leave a comment down below, let me know what you want, and uh, I'll be happy to do it. So that's uh, questions, uh, suggestions, uh, requests, whatever it is, just uh, let me know, and um, I'll try and see what I can do. Until next time, guys. Nah.